Hi, I'm Jay, EscobarJ.com. This video is Healthy Habits 2020. And I've done three videos on this topic so far. And if you haven't seen the first three videos, I'll go ahead and post them down in the description below. And the first three healthy habits are sleep, exercise, and nutrition. And today, what we're going to talk about is another healthy habit, sex. Now, this one is fantastic because, well, a few reasons. First off, have more sex. You're going to feel a lot better. And I want to challenge you. Try the 90-day challenge, sex every day for 90 days, and see what that does to your relationship. See if it improves it. And this is a great healthy habit, uh, especially if you're married. And the next little tip that I have for you is to spice it up. Break your routine. Try a whip and handcuffs. Try a new toy or a new, a new position. Okay, just get out of your routine. A lot of times, especially us guys, we can get caught up in the same thing over and over and over again, and it just gets monotonous and boring. So spice it up and break the routine. Be creative. Role play, that's another great one. Figure out what your partner likes. Figure out what kind of fantasies or what things your partner is into. And a lot of times this takes a lot of trust and feeling safe to have these types of conversations to figure out what kind of role plays you're into. And then to not feel judged and to not judge the other partner for whatever it is that they're into. And that's the next tip is to develop better sexual communication. It's important. It's really important, especially when you're in a long-term relationship, a monogamous relationship. You want to be able to please the other person. You want to be able to make them happy in the sack, right? So, and it's about communicating in a loving and non-judgmental way and embracing new things and trying new things out. Um, so, and then the next thing is to learn to build more anticipation. That's also very key. And another great habit is to, another way you can spice it up is just to build more anticipation throughout the entire day. Throw little remarks, right? Um, send sexual texts back and forth throughout the day. Or, you know, it's kind of like take two steps forward and one step back, right? That's kind of the key concept there in building anticipation. Maybe you, uh, you're, you're talking and then you start making out a little bit. It kind of gets a little heavy and then you stop, back off, start talking again a little more, do something else for a couple minutes, start making out again, start grabbing, touching, feeling. Or maybe if you're, you know, working, use that same principle to send a couple not safe for work texts <laughs> to your partner or pictures to your partner. Um, and just let the anticipation build, right? And throughout the night, maybe you're on a date and you're going to two or three different events or two or three different venues, you know, start talking dirty to each other over there uh, at each event and build the anticipation until both of you are just so crazy that you just, as soon as you get in the door, you're ripping each other's clothes off, right? And then my last tip is to take your time slow down okay this is another really important habit to adopt especially in 2020 take your time enjoy the process i mean it's 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 one of those things where if you're constantly rushing especially uh men tend to rush things or they tend to get too excited or they don't have enough patience slow down Take your time, enjoy the process, live in the present moment, and listen to your partner's body with your body. If you don't know what that means, it means to get out of your head and to feel with your emotions, your heart, and your private parts, <laughs> to say the least. So if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed those few tips and healthy habits, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like help on this topic, you can visit my website at escobarj.com. 
If you'd like to make a donation, also you can go to escobarj.com and make a donation there for any amount of money you feel is worth the value of the information in this video or my other videos. And then do me a favor and share this with any of your friends or family on any social media. That is my purpose is to help as many people as possible to be self-actualizers. That being said, I hope you're always learning, always growing, and always pushing forward. And I will see you in the next video. I'll see you soon.